In this podcast episode, Antony Beaver, a historian and author, discusses the Russian Revolution and Civil War. He highlights the preconditions that led to these events, starting with the oppressive rule of Tsar Nicholas II, who was influenced by his father's autocratic beliefs. The Russian society faced challenges in the countryside with inefficient agriculture and in the cities with poor working conditions in factories. The discontent among the peasantry and workers fueled revolutionary groups like the Socialist Revolutionaries and Social Democrats. The disastrous Russo-Japanese War in 1905 and the outbreak of World War I further weakened the Tsar's rule. The lack of industrialization and financial mismanagement during the war led to defeats on the Eastern Front and demoralized the Russian army. The Tsar's decision to take over as commander-in-chief worsened the situation as he was detached from the reality of the country. Rasputin, a controversial figure, gained influence over the Tsar and Tsarina, contributing to the corruption and chaos in the government. His close relationship with the Tsarina and his role in decision-making further destabilized the regime. The Tsar's weakness and Rasputin's manipulation exacerbated the pre-revolutionary conditions in Russia. The February Revolution of 1917 caught the Tsar and his government by surprise. It began with protests on International Women's Day, followed by strikes by workers and soldiers joining the revolt. The Tsar underestimated the loyalty of the army and police, leading to a swift collapse of his rule in Petrograd, which is now called St. Petersburg. The Tsar's attempts to return to the capital were thwarted, and his family, including the Tsarina and their children, faced increasing threats as the revolution gained momentum. As the revolution unfolded, key figures like General Kabalov and Minister Protopopov failed to assess the gravity of the situation. The Tsar's reliance on loyalists and his detachment from the reality on the ground contributed to the rapid downfall of his regime. The violence and chaos of the revolution including attacks on the police and the Tsar's family being trapped in the Alexander Palace, marked a turning point in Russian history. The revolution eventually led to the abdication of Tsar Nicholas II and the establishment of a provisional government. The provisional government was made up of moderate socialists and aimed to bring about political reforms and transition to a more democratic system. There were several political movements in Russia at the time including the cadets, constitutional democrats, socialist revolutionaries, Mensheviks, and Bolsheviks. The Bolsheviks, led by Lenin, were the most extreme faction and advocated for the total destruction of the old regime and the establishment of a communist state. Lenin's leadership and ruthless tactics, such as making false promises to gain support, played a significant role in the rise of the Bolsheviks. The Bolsheviks exploited the chaos and discontent in the country, particularly among soldiers and workers, to increase their influence. The July offensive by the provisional government, led by Alexander Kerensky, was a failure and further weakened their position. The Bolshevik coup, known as the October Revolution, involved the seizure of communication points, the use of Latvian rifles, and the storming of the Winter Palace. The coup was relatively swift, and resulted in the surrender of the provisional government ministers. Following the coup, the Bolsheviks established control over Petrograd and began implementing their policies. The royal family, including Tsar Nicholas II, was kept as prisoners before being executed to prevent any attempts to restore the old regime. The Bolshevik coup marked the beginning of the Soviet era in Russia and set the stage for the Russian Civil War. The revolution led to significant social, political, and economic changes in the country, ultimately shaping its future tra trajectory. Lenin's leadership and strategic decisions were instrumental in the success of the Bolsheviks. He prioritized the consolidation of power and made key decisions, such as signing the Treaty of Brest-Litovsk with Germany to secure peace on the Eastern Front. Trotsky, on the other hand, played a crucial role in organizing the Red Army and leading military operations during the Civil War. The Russian Civil War erupted as various factions, including the Whites, the Cossacks, and the Red Army, vied for control of the country. The Whites, composed of anti-Bolshevik forces, faced internal divisions and lacked a cohesive strategy, while the Reds, under Lenin and Trotsky's leadership, focused on building a disciplined and unified military force. 
The Russian Civil War was marked by brutality, fear, and destruction, leading to widespread suffering and upheaval. The conflict created a legacy of violence and instability that reverberated across Europe and influenced subsequent events, such as the Spanish Civil War. The Bolsheviks were driven by the ideology of Marxism-Leninism, which emphasized class struggle, proletarian revolution, and the establishment of a socialist society. Lenin's adaptation of Marxist principles to Russian conditions shaped the Bolsheviks' policies and actions during the revolution and the civil war. Beaver draws parallels between historical events and current geopolitical dynamics, highlighting the resurgence of autocratic regimes and the erosion of democratic norms. He warns against complacency and emphasizes the importance of preparedness and vigilance in the face of potential threats to global stability.